We're at Vacheron Constantin, headquarters and manufacturer in Geneva, Switzerland. And we will be looking at the third generation Vacheron Constantin overseas. Now with the latest generation overseas, I think that Vacheron hit the sweet spot. The case and the bracelet feel even better refined than ever. And there's an easy adjust system in the bracelet that makes it very comfortable. Plus you can exchange it for a light, nice rubber strap or a leather strap as you please. All new tree hand and chrono models and also the dual time come with in-house movements that even feature an in-house hairspring. Inside we're going to have a look at how the watches are being manufactured and assembled. And we're going to have a talk with Christian Salmoni, the brand's heritage and style director. So from year 2004, we, we will move to the year 2016. So again, uh, the, the Overseas 2 has been uh, very long lasting. So 12 years of, uh, of existence. And uh, we have decided to move to the third generation of Overseas. In terms of design first, well, we wanted to do an evolution of the Overseas 2 rather than a revolution. So we didn't make uh, as much changes in the Overseas 3, uh, in comparison with Overseas 2. It's more, I would say, a big work of uh, rethinking the links of the bracelet while keeping the Maltese cross design and also working on, on the case itself. Uh, we wanted this watch, we wanted to reconnect a little bit with the spirit of the Overseas 1, which means that we, we liked the little uh, 70s touch that we had in the, the Overseas 1. And this is, this is why we have decided to mostly work on the dials. And the dials are something which is very important in the Overseas 3. It was quite an important work for us because we, in comparison with Overseas 2, we wanted to, to reconnect with this nice little vintage touch of the 70s that we, we had in the Overseas 1. So our idea was to get inspired by classic dials of the 50s and the 60s where they had these beautiful finishes with two tones finishes you really have a, a very important depth when you look at the, the dials and so we have worked really hard uh, into developing uh, such dial for versus three at the point that we we made probably more than 100 samples of dials during the development of overseas because we really wanted to obtain a very special finishings as well as a very special color especially for the blue which we wanted to really establish as the, the, the color for the Overseas 3. If we, if we now look uh, about the, the features uh, of, of Overseas, if I come back to Overseas 1, so Overseas 1 was a chronometer, but that was, it was really the element we wanted to enhance or to, to, to showcase. In Overseas 2, we, we thought about finding uh, something which would be important for our clients because we were more and more traveling, so it was uh, anti-magnetism, which was the, the characteristic of the Overseas 2. And uh, when we, uh, we were thinking about developing the Overseas 3, we, we just asked ourselves and said, okay, what kind of feature can we, can we provide for Overseas 3? So we decided on one side to keep the, an the anti-magnetic protection, which is something which is very useful uh, these days. And uh, actually, we really thought about where is our client living, what kind of uh, active... We, we are more and more active in our lives and we, we like also to take our watches with us uh, while we are doing sport or while we are working or while we are going to, to, to see a movie. Or, uh, and so we thought about so why not uh, trying to adapt the, the style of, uh, of the overseas to, to, to the client's activities. So uh, we thought about uh, developing this system which, uh, which allows to quickly change the, the bracelet. So this is something which was uh, at the very beginning of the development of the Overseas 3 because it has uh, obviously an influence on the technicality of the watch. Together with our technical team we could establish uh, create a very satisfactory system and pretty soon in the design we could integrate this uh, flexibility, this versatility which is, uh, I think, a great point when you consider Overseas 3. In addition to this uh, system, which allows us to change very easily the bracelet, we also have added, um, I would say, a comfort uh, extension for, for the link of the bracelet. So you, depending if you are in, uh, basically in the winter or the summer, 
your wrist does not exactly have the same size. So you can really have, uh, we, we are giving more comfort by uh, giving the possibility to our client to adjust the, the length of the bracelet in, in a very, very simple way. So this is also, I think, together with the system which allows us to change the bracelet quickly, this is another uh, useful uh, feature that we are providing in the overseas trip. We also uh, came with uh, additional movements in, in the line. We, we had some necessary offer with uh, the three hands movement and the chronograph movements. Uh, obviously, a very important uh, evolution of the, the overseas uh, line when we when we launched the overseas three is that we came with a brand new generation of, uh, of movements. So these movements they were really thought and developed to, to fit into the, the overseas line. In other words, uh, they are, I would say, larger and very robust movements. So we came up with the self-winding 3 hands uh, caliber together also with the, with the chronograph. So both movements were 100% new and uh, they, they, they were really developed to, to be dedicated to the overseas line. The overseas 3 movements, so time only, chronograph and the new uh, dual time, they, they feature uh, also in-house balance springs, which is, uh, which is something which were also new uh, within the overseas collection. And we have added uh, later in the collection uh, a complication which, which is uh, very logical and which was also expected in the overseas collection, which is the dual time that we launched uh, one year later. In addition, uh, we came with two new movements in the overseas line. The interesting point is that both movements uh, are ultra-thin movements and we wanted really to create some, you know, talking pieces uh, within, within the line. So we came uh, with a perpetual, ultra-thin perpetual calendar, so calibre 1120 QP, which is a movement that we are using since many years, which is a fantastic, uh, super-thin uh, and elegant perpetual calendar. So we added this to the collection uh, for the first year. And there is a very special watch that we, we have decided to, to launch, which was super thin overseas, on, on white gold, on white gold bracelets, so with a, really a talking piece. We were trying really to, to showcase that it's possible to do, to stretch the design to a point in which this is a super elegant timepiece family. So I, I think we, we came with something which was very much rooted in the Vacheron Constantin style, and uh, this watch became really a success and we, we did it only in, in white gold. And that was the starting point of the collection. One thing which is very important in overseas in general and I would say on I think all the Vacheron Constantin timepieces, it's the, really the care for, for the details. The development of overseas tree has been quite long. We needed uh, more than a couple of years to, to develop the whole line. For us it was absolutely essential to to find the best finishes possible in terms of habillage. By habillage, I mean uh, every, everything which is related to case finishing, to bracelet finishing, to dials, hands, etc. So every component that is visible outside of the watch has to be as well finished as the movement which is inside the watch. And I think this is really something in which we, we, have, we have made strong efforts since almost decades now. And in the context of Overseas 3, we have worked a lot on uh, the reflections of the light on the surface of the watch, uh, of the case, of the bracelet. And uh, finally, I would say, when you, when you wear Overseas 3, you have a, a great feeling of uh, something which is very comfortable. And uh, I think this also uh, gives an, an extra value to, to the design of the Overseas. I think that we have, we have seen since uh, since maybe a little bit more than a decade the development of the sports elegant product segment. I think we, things are really moving ahead, and we we really see the the develop a very positive development in this uh, product segment. And uh, for for us, I think for Vachon Constantin, it's a great possibilities of development uh, when we think about uh, technical watchmaking. So in addition to complications that we still have in the overseas collection, just to mention like a, a grand complication, which is the perpetual calendar, we think that there, there is room for other de developments. So uh, most probably, or uh, time will tell, 
but uh, we might see some very interesting developments in the overseas line in the years to come.